right, we are here at the lot. It's a great day, it's just a hot one, that's all. So you gotta eat your bananas and drink your water. But I'm out here with the 636, which I've been neglecting for a little bit because it needed a little bit of work. This is an 0304. I used to have the 0304 forks on here. Well, the seals busted and they went dry and got my pads all soaking wet. So I needed new pads and my buddy said, that he was gonna get me some 0506 forks if I wanted to learn how to stop it because those are highly suggested because apparently the 0304 forks will snap on you in mid stoppy and I'm not about that. Shout out to Jess, thanks so much for the 0506 forks. I also got the V rotors, I believe these are V rotors, they're EVCs. Um, they are bigger than the 0304 rotors, um, which is nice, so a little bit more stopping power. Kept the same calipers, and got OEM pads that are brand new on the uh, calipers. I did stop it a little bit about a couple days ago, but the pads weren't completely broken in, which uh, it wasn't really predictable and it was kind of sketchy to be honest. Now they're predictable, it feels great. So I got some cones from my local Ace Hardware. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. And we are gonna set up just a short little distance to practice um, some snaps, posture, and you know, some good form. Yeah, I'm really excited to, to uh, go on a stoppy quest. By any means, I'm not trying to be the best stoppier in the world. I don't think anyone's beating Jesse Toller, but uh, yeah, I just wanna be able to roll them with nice form pretty far, and that's my goal. I don't really have a distance set in mind. I'm just gonna keep going until I'm just satisfied, I guess, you know? Shout out to Outlaw Stunt Parts. I got these pucks in, they fit amazing on this cage. Shout out to Tyler for drinking water and staying hydrated, yep. it's a must. Shout out to Robert for the shades. Gotta protect your eyes, that's a must. Krispy oh, got the Krispy Kremes. And we got Ken over here on the MT. He says he wants to scrape it. He's scraped the Grom plenty of times and um, now he's got protection on his bike. So if it falls, it's all right. I mean, the only thing I would worry about is getting hurt yourself, you know? It's easy though, you got this. <laughs> yeah, I got this. You got this. Well, we got some other people out here that we don't really know, which is awesome, I love that. Oh, you got two bikes? Oh, I mean, um, look at this guy. Oh, well, one and a half. Rich I got one and a half. One and a half. Balling. Balling. No, no, not at all. <laughs> hey, make sure you watch out for scooters. Show us what you got. Come on, Daniel, show us what you got. There you go. Man, when I have a kid, I hope they ride. Boy or girl. Isn't that right? What? When we have a baby, they gonna ride. Well, we don't have a baby right now, but one day, yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna force them though. I just hope they, they want to. So, this lot seems really nice for stoppies. Um, I think I'm gonna stick to the black pavement the asphalt instead of the concrete. I believe that's concrete and that's asphalt. The asphalt is also grippier than the concrete and the concrete will hide sand when you don't see it, which is really sketchy. I know we're only doing stoppies, probably like 30 miles per hour starting 20, 30, just to get good form, but I don't like my front end locking up at all. There we go, there we go, love it. So I got three patches of concrete distance. I don't know how far that is. I think that's a good start. We'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, three, four. So about 40 feet. God. Makes me sound like a bitch, man. These dudes are rolling like 400 feet, three, 400 feet, some 500 feet, but it's okay. They have years of seat time. I'm just excited to even start stoppies on this thing. Let's get at it. I gotta pee. You gotta pee? Yeah. Okay. Ken with the camera and hopefully capture his first scrape on the MT.
I've been telling people that scraping on a big bike is way easier. And I don't want to hurt. I feel a lot better. I mean, it's more fun in my opinion, but. No, it's way more fun. Oh, Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Because like, I could get used to that. Like the ground, it's every smooth. time I ever did it, I felt scared. This is not scared. Well, it's smoother. You got well, yeah, bigger wheels. You got more boys, weight. Yeah, us big boys on a little Grom kind of. Yeah, I weigh 210 pounds. Yeah, when I go back to scrape way. a Grom, yeah, it, it gets a little sketchy. sketchy. This one's just like, doop. Yeah. Oh, it's so no. smoother. My fan's on. She's hot. Wider wheel, bigger wheel, more weight. All right, I'm going to take a break for a second. That was dope. I actually got better than I thought pretty quick with good form. So I'm going to push this back one block and I'm not pushing it too far. I'm not going to go past my comfort zone, not with stoppies, because um, you want to take those slowly. Because there's no escape when it comes to stoppies. There's no back brake to save you. There's, you know what I mean? Like you're, if you go over the bars, you're hurting, you know? myself and not having proper form I don't want to go too fast without proper form because um, it doesn't end well and I was getting them every I don't know one out of every three tries with good form so I'm probably gonna stay at this distance for a while until I can do it every time with great form but that's pretty much it for the stoppies here's Ken with his camera what is he up to oh camera meet camera Whoa. one two three Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen times one, two, three, four, five. Thirteen times five. But I'm pretty much all stoppied out now. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna go practice a couple other things on the big bike. And then I'm heading home and relaxing. Peace.